am neither a doctor nor scientist. I'm merely recounting the words of biologists, doctors, research papers, ancient texts, and forming my own perspectives on them. Let's begin. To get closer to youth, we must move further from death. What does death entail? The ultimate destruction of the organism due to gradual or sudden physical degeneration. Before we consider regeneration, we should perhaps first focus our thoughts on the reduction of degeneration. As the saying goes, a penny saved is a penny earned. It is widely known in biology that a primary cause of accelerated physical degeneration is reproduction. From encyclopedia.com Reproduction generally reduces survival. More reproduction shortening lifespan. Less reproduction increasing lifespan. This effect is not absolutely universal, but it is one of the better established patterns in the biology of aging. Reproduction is carried out through the physical act of mating. The biological result of this process for the male is the production and secretion of semen from the sex glands and subsequent ejaculation of said sexual fluids. The act of masturbation carries the same biological end result for the male that being the secretion and ejaculation of semen. From observing the physical mechanisms of mating and masturbation, it could be reasonably concluded that the end biological results of these two activities are essentially the same. Assuming that the costs of reproduction are based on the loss of these fluids, which is evident, it would be reasonable to surmise that the act of reproduction would bear much the same biological effect and consequences on the organism as the practice of masturbation. The esteemed psychiatrist Mercia wrote, The function of reproduction has by its very nature a disintegrative, deteriorating influence upon the organism in which it occurs. The reproductive act has an effect on the highest regions of the nervous systems, which is of the nature of a stress, and tends to produce disorder. The repeated loss of energy eventuates in a state of energy, apathy, lethargy, and dementia. The tension of energy in the nervous system is reduced to the lowest ebb, and all the manifestations of the existence of this energy are wanting or exhibited in a feeble and perfunctory shape. The condition is one of dementia, there is want of mind, the inability to perform mental operations of even moderate difficulty, the dullness and slowness of feeling, the loss of all higher emotions and of many of the lower ones also characterizes dementia. From this line of thought we can establish that the first rule to be followed for longer life is that of reduction of lustful thought, sexual activity and most importantly the avoidance of ejaculation of the seminal fluids. There is evidence to suggest that the elixir of youth preservation may actually be present within the chemical constituents that make up the semen. The chemical makeup and consistency of the semen is of a very similar makeup to that of the brain and nervous tissues. Both the brain and semen are made up of numerous elements including phosphorus, lecithin, lipids, cholesterol, and a particular substance known as spermidine. It has been suggested that the brain and sex glands are in direct competition for the use of these substances and that overuse of one gland will cause deficiency in the other. Sexual excess may in fact have a very direct negative influence on the brain and nerves ability to access these vital constituents. If conserving the sexual fluids within our bodies is to equate to longer lifespan, then we could assume these substances as being very beneficial to longevity. Claims of the powerful effects of these substances on longevity were made over 50 years ago. Recent research has concluded that spermidine indeed delays aging in humans. These such substances are essentially an elixir of life. That we can absorb this elixir of life by means of preservation for free without the need to go and spend hefty sums of money for its acquisition is perhaps a miracle and a deeply significant health secret that we currently all have access to. We are all slowly dying, but at different rates. Reproduction accelerates our rate of degeneration and ultimately leads to earlier death. The key is restraint. 
restraint of sexual activity to activate regeneration via the absorption of the valuable substances produced and secreted by your glands. To furthermore save energy stores in the body by stopping the regular loss of semen which would require constant replenishment. Is this something you are prepared to sacrifice? It is by no means a requirement and for some the enjoyment of sex may make life all the more worth living even at the cost of their own lifespan. These are all philosophical questions that one must ponder and reach a conclusion to themselves. Our values are all different. But if you desire to hold on to your youth and vigor well into old age, then the avoidance of reproduction is of great importance.